Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author, mental health educator, and depression survivor. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Um, the title of today's video is, If You Want a Happy Brain, Create a Happy Gut. And since we're going to be talking about nutrition, I thought uh, you'd appreciate this <coughs> joke. Um, anyway, uh, it's, found, it's been found that if you want to encourage children at school lunches to eat healthily, you put the healthy uh, you know, foods at the beginning of the line and the unhealthy ones at the end. So there was a Catholic school, and uh, at the beginning of the line was a bowl of apples. At the end of the line was a bowl of cookies. So at the beginning of the line, there was a, su a sign that the uh, nuns had written out. It said, only take one apple. God is watching. And at the end of the line, there was another sign written by one of the kids said, take all the cookies you want. God is watching the apples. So there you have it. All right. Well, have you ever uh, trusted your gut to make a decision or gone with a gut feeling? If you have, you have tapped into uh, what scientists call your second brain, your gut. Now, why should this be so? Well, first, the gut produces a lot of neurotransmitters that the brain also produces, such as serotonin, and GABA, and what else do we have here? Um, yeah, dopamine, right, of course, the, the feel-good uh, chemical. And in fact, the brain uh, only makes a small part of the serotonin that's in your body. The gut actually produces 90% of the serotonin. It turns out that the brain and the gut are connected, a partnership called the gut-brain axis. And the mechanism by which this happens is the vagus nerve, which is the longest nerve in the body, uh, sends electrical impulses from the gut to the brain and vice versa. Interesting, the word vagus in Latin means wandering, and the vagus nerve uh, starts at the base of the uh, head here and goes all the way down the neck through the thorax and all the way down to the gut. You can consider that the super information highway connecting the brain and the gut. Now, what does all of this have to do with those of us who suffer from anxiety and depression? Well, because of the brain-gut connection we described, what affects the brain affects the gut, and vice versa, what affects the gut affects the brain. So let's say you're going through a lot of stress and you activate the fight-or-flight response. The brain can send warning signals down to the stomach, and you can have a nervous or upset stomach. Have you ever heard the term, I have butterflies in my stomach? Well, that's what it comes from. On the other hand, this works in reverse. So for people who have digestive flare-ups like uh, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, or even chronic constipation, this can cause them to feel anxiety or depression. So the takeaway from all of this is, if you want a happy brain, create a happy gut. Now, how can we do this? Well, we can do so by supporting what's called the gut microbiome. What is this? Well, it's the series of uh, microbacteria that live in your intestines. And there are actually three to 500 species of these bacteria. I had no idea there, were that, there was that much diversity, but this is nature after all. And so research has shown that if you have a lot of these good bacteria in your intestines, it can actually enhance your immune system and decrease the symptoms of depression and anxiety. Now, isn't that nice just from having a good diet? So how can we support this good bacteria in our intestines? Well, we need to be eating two kinds of foods, uh, one that contains probiotics and the other that contains prebiotics. So let's define them. A probiotic basically is a beneficial bacteria like acidophilus that's found in yogurt or kefir, uh, or fermented foods like uh, kimchi and sauerkraut and the drink that's very popular these days called kombucha. Now, I don't know about you, but I love fermented foods and I really like kimchi. It's a Korean dish and I really like this brand here in Portland, Oregon. It's called Choi's. And uh, it, I just, every time I eat this, I just feel great. Uh, the other thing that people do is they sometimes take probiotic supplements and pills, but I find liquid forms are good. And here's one that I really like. This comes out of California. Uh, this is called Good Belly. <laughs> That's a nice name. And they give you an offer. Uh, eat this or take these for 12 straight days. And if you don't feel better in your, in your gut, uh, we'll refund your money. In addition to probiotics, we need prebiotics in our Gut. Now, prebiotics are found in fiber uh, that feed the friendly bacteria, and you can get plenty of this by eating fruits and vegetables and legumes and whole grains and nuts and seeds. It's also contained in apple cider vinegar, something I've known about for quite some time when I was growing up. Bragg's was all the rage, it still is, and uh, so what I do is I take it once a day. Actually, it's about that time. So here's my little cup of water, and here's my apple cider vinegar. 
I'm going to pour about a tablespoon in. Put it down. Let's drink to health. Mmm. Boy, that tastes good, and I can actually feel that gut bacteria multiplying. I've got a happy gut, everybody. Hey, what a concept. It goes without saying that prebiotics and probiotics work synergistically to increase the uh, diversity of the good bacteria in your GI tract. As you eat more prebiotics, it feeds the good bacteria, which creates more probiotics. On the other hand, if you eat junk food, especially sugar, it degrades your microbiome. This is why I tell my uh, clients, if you want to feel better, eat better. Uh, and uh, after all, you are what you eat. By the way, this reminds me of a, a story I recently heard about a squirrel who went to a psychiatrist's office. Uh, psychiatrist said, Mr. Squirrel, what are you doing here? Well, the squirrel said, have you ever heard the phrase, you are what you eat? The psychiatrist said, yes. The squirrel said, do you believe that? The psychiatrist said, of course. Well, the squirrel said, if that's true, I think I'm nuts. And there was a long course of therapy that followed. Finally, one aspect of modern medicine, which has inadvertently disrupted the human gut microbiome, is the widespread use of antibiotics. Because, as we know, the antibiotics do not discriminate, right? They not only kill the bad bacteria, but they kill the good bacteria as well. Maybe this is why uh, 20 years ago, when I was going through some moderate depression and anxiety, and I had to take a number of courses of antibiotics, I started to feel a lot worse. Now, of course, there is a time and a place for antibiotics. This summer, I had a 102 fever, a 22,000 white blood cell count from a cellulitis, and I needed antibiotics in the hospital to heal. But for less serious ailments, I highly uh, recommend that we try to use uh, other ways of improving and strengthening our immune system. In conclusion, science has shown that the gut indeed is our second brain. And if we treat it well and feed it correctly, we can enhance our mood and even improve the way we think. So remember, chug down those probiotics, take your apple cider vinegar, and eat your kimchi. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope your digestion will improve as a result. Uh, if you did like the video, give it a like. Uh, and you can always write your comments in the comments section or email me, douglasblock at gmail.com. If you'd like to take advantage of a new service I'm offering YouTube viewers, uh, Long Distance Mental Health Coaching, just go to the link that you see on the screen. If you want to subscribe to this channel, if you haven't already done so, please click on my picture during the closing credits. And if you'd like to become a sustaining member of this channel, simply click on the Patreon image, and you can do so by going to that website. And until we meet again, I wish you good digestion, a happy gut, and a happy brain. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.